Good morning, everyone on the West Coast, and good afternoon, everyone on the East Coast. This is John Garmendi, Business Development Manager with Sony's Professional Solutions of America. Thank you for joining the third in our series of Sony's Tech Tuesday webinars. Uh, we started up these webinars in response to the COVID tragedy in an effort to maintain contact with our reseller integration, channel partners, and the consultant community. This will allow us to provide you with a consistent flow of information on our professional products and solutions. Uh, today, we'll be focusing on our PTZ lineup of cameras. Joining me today is Anthony Rombola, Senior Sales Support Engineer with Sony's Professional Group. Uh, Tony handles our central zone territory. He has over 25 years experience in the pro AV and broadcast uh, uh, sales support and engineering. As well, Drew Buttress, our senior product manager for our PTZ cameras, will be joining us as well. Uh, with that, I'd like to uh, thank you all for uh, spending the time with us, and um, we look forward to having you attend our future webinars, which will be covering business projectors, 4K SXRD projectors, Edge Vineo Analytics, Bravia Pro Displays, Teos Workplace Management, and a number of other solutions. With that, I'll turn it over to Tony to begin the webinar. Thank you, John, and good day, everyone. Welcome to AV Technology and Webinars. Today's topics are PTC cameras lineup. In the PTC cameras, we have two categories, BRCs and SRGs. We'll cover control cameras with the ability to pan, tilt, and zoom. Therefore, we refer to them as PTC cameras. Sony PTC cameras consists of two categories. In the BRC categories, we have BRC X1000, a 4K HD camera, BRC H900, it's an HD camera, BRC H800, and the BRC X400. Each one with features and functions that makes them individually unique to a specific application. Time after time, BRC X1000 and the H800 have won this place where image quality is more important as a result of this one inch image CMOS sensor, clear image zoom in XMOR R technology. Large sensors have the ability to capture more light. Therefore, light sensitivity is drastically improved, especially during low lighting conditions. Excellent resolution and color reproduction. Amazing zoom capabilities, up to 48x, 48 times in HD mode with clear image zoom and teleconvert mode. Back illuminated sensors increases light sensitivity for better performance, especially under low lighting conditions. PoE Plus eliminates the need for external power adapters and with the ability of outputting 4K in HD. BRX 1000 can output 4K video at the same time as HD video. This makes the ideal camera for shooting, capturing, or archiving 4K in monitor and HD mode. Both of these cameras have a one inch sensor. The BRX 1000 is a 4K resolution output camera with the ability to output HD from an HDMI output. BRC H800 is an HD resolution camera. Both cameras use the same sensors 
one is a native 4K and the other one is an HD. Sony Unique's technology is clear image zoom, can reach those longer shots while delivering exceptional image quality, up to two times the optical in HD mode and one and a half times the optical in 4K with no pixelation. Deliver reach in video expression. That's the ability of a larger sensor. One inch size cinema style and artistic shots can be achieved with a one inch sensor for those shallow camera shots. These are the images that are used in the BRC X1000 and the BRC H800. BRC H900 is a 3CCD HD PTZ camera. This camera is the only BRC with three chips, half inch, still using CMOS XMOR technology. Superior broadcast picture quality, the HD resolution, HD SDI, component RGB and composite YC video, some of the video output sources. This camera is the only camera with an open slot in the back for optional video cars. Cars such as a Fiverr for a long extended distance control. Additional cars consist of additional SDI input and or an IP car for LAN connection. BRBK IP10 is the car needed for LAN connection. This camera differs a little bit from its two sisters, the BRC X1000 and the AJ100, by having an open slot for additional video cards. If LAN connection is decided, the optional IP car is required. Also offers 232 RS-232C for VSCAN control as well as RS-422. Both lines of communication use the VSCA protocol and with a 14x optical zoom it fits right in the middle of the other two. When it comes to controllers we have you covered. The sleekly designed in what I like to call very user-friendly RMIP500. This is a control ideally set up for small studio sizes. Its unique shape makes it ideal for a flush mount on a control console. Its ability to control cameras via RS 422 or LAN, control up to 100 cameras, and is ergonomically designed for easy distinguish selection of each one of those functions. In the RMIP10 is Sony's popular small control, which enables daisy change cameras with serial VSCA RS-232, RS-422, or control up to 112 cameras via LAN. Up to five RMIP 500s can be connected together for multiple locations control. And now I'm delighted to present the new X-Series cameras. The new X-Series consists of three additional models to Sony PTC cameras lineup for 2020. These are the BRC-X400, SRG-X400, and the SRG-X120. These are Sony's first IP 4K PTC cameras with NDI 
HX compatibility using CMOS sensors with XMOR R technology. NDI HX is an optional choice. With the new BRCX400, this camera fits within the BRC category, which assigns the camera for broadcast quality and environment. What difference from this camera to the others? Some of the major differences are Tully light and external sync in, what most of us refer to as Genlock. This is something that you will not find on the SRG models. All three cameras are capable of receiving audio in two audio jacks. Audio will be embedded in the SDI and HDMI video signal. Some other key features, XMOR R. XMOR R technology has been in use by Sony for the last few years. The technology consists of removing some of the uh, sensors components from the top view to allow more light hitting the photo cells. Therefore, light sensitivity and image quality is at its best. 4K is available as a native resolution in the BRC X400 and the BRC X1000. Although 4K is an optional choice on the X400 and the SRG X120. Flexible efficient IP base light production, powerful zoom, wide shooting angle, easy system configuration and operation are just some of the features on these cameras. NDI HX capability. This is optional on all three of the new X series cameras. Obviously a license and a download is required. All control can be done by a single network cable and remote viewing. Easy configuration and operation is the key feature on the BRC X400 the SRG X400 and the SRG X120. BRC X400, Genlock and support Sally needs more cameras for the smooth camera switching. This is a function on the category of the BRC where it's to be found in the uh, broadcast small studio environment. Genlock like connectivity. Multiple cameras control protocols. Fast menu setup from one camera to others. You can save in camera adjustments, settings, and move them to the other without doing individual as one. Fast pan till movement between cameras. Picture freeze presets how the camera moves. And seamless professional looking transitions. Clear image zoom technology, or as we refer as ZIDS, C-I-Z, has the ability of increasing the zoom ratio one and a half times in 4K, two times in HD mode without pick selection. It looks and it works just like it's an extension of the optical zoom. Teleconvert mode, it doubles the magnification of clear image zoom from 40 in HD mode, 40 times to 80 times. It's excellent tool for those long shots which require clarity and amplification. Why shooting angles? When conventional cameras offer an approximately 65 degrees angle shooting, all three of the new X series have a wider angle of approximately 70 degrees. That allows you for a wider, wide angle shooting and wide angle shot. High speed movement during presets. The camera can move uh, faster 
degree, 300 degrees per second through impelling, in 126 degrees through the tilt. The camera can achieve moving from preset one to a preset two, much faster time. During this time, the camera can freeze the last image until it gets to its set location. The following slides cover the specifications, the BRC X400, and an image of this rear view. We can identify on that image the two RS422 connection jacks for in and out or so-called daisy change. RS422 jacks are connected by RJ45 type jacks or so-called ethernet jacks. There's a selection switch, HDMI output, SDI out, and unique to the uh, BRC cameras, external sync in. And there's our J45 LAN connection. DC power in, and some of the uh, specs on the BRC X400 are video output through 3G SDI, BNC type connector, HDMI, and IP streaming with a 30X and a 4K with ZIS, clear image zoom, and 40X in HD with ZIS. Sensor size, minimum illumination, our resolution in 4K of 2160 by 3840. And the please notice, power over the ethernet, PoE plus as well as a, you can utilize a AC adapter and the optional NDI. Now we move on to the SRG series, the X400 and the X120. Very similar cameras except for a few facts. One is zoom, the 400 has the 20 optical zoom, and the X120 at 12x or 12 times. The SRG400 features clear image zoom, same sensors, almost one third of an inch, XMOR R CMOS technology, light sensitivity, 4K resolution is optional through the purchase of a license. Pan and teal degree range plus or minus 170 that can almost complete the 360 degrees with a left and right of 340. Maximum speed of preset is 300 degrees. Preset picture freeze frame during those fast moving preset recalls. Control interface consists of VSCA or VSCA over IP, POE plus for power, and yes, audio input, two channels. IP streaming and the optional 4K resolutions or NDI. We look at the image of the rear of the camera. It's very similar to the BRC, but the exception of one missing BNC type for external sync input and no Tully light. The rest of the SRG family consists of the SRG 120DH, SRG 120DU, and the SRG 120DS. These are desk mountable cameras, superb image quality at a very affordable price. And each one of these cameras is assigned by its video output, where the DH is an HDMI, the DU is a USB, and the DS is an SDI signal out. Our 300 series 
with an HDMI video output format as an output. It's got an expanded 30 times optical zoom. And the two cameras on the left are being replaced with our new X-Series cameras. That concludes my presentation. Please reach out to me, your account manager. Thank you very much, Tony. Everyone, it's John Garmendi again. Um, just I, I sent out a chat, but I just want to remind everyone, please submit your questions via the question panel um, off to the side. Uh, we'd certainly like to be able to address any questions you may have on the presentation that you uh, that you saw or any questions on the individual uh, products that were covered. Um, we've got a couple of questions already coming in. So the first one is from Larry. He says, what makes the BRC X400 different from the SRG X400 with the optional 4K license? Uh, I'd like to uh, I'd like to pass that one along to uh, Drew Buttress, our product manager. Drew, can you take that question, please? Oh, absolutely. Thanks, John. Um, <clears throat> so the BRC X400, as Tony said, has um, uh, th uh, a couple of features that are different from the SRG X400 with the 4K license installed. Uh, the first one is the tally lamp and Genlock. The other is the BRC X400 offers a two actually the BRC X400 is the only model that offers that 2x teleconvert. So being able to reach out to 80 times uh, clear image zoom with 2x teleconvert turned on um, is is also a differentiator from the uh, SRG X400 in 4K. Um, and then lastly, uh, there was a recent firmware upgrade where we added PTZ trace, so the ability to record. Um, 16 traces, each one up to three minutes or 180 seconds um, as a live move, and then be able to replay that. So the BRC X400 has that feature, the SRG X400 does not. Thank you, Drew, I appreciate it. Uh, we've got another question here from Terry. Um, is the 4K optional license available today? Um, I'll take that one, John. Uh, yes, it is. The uh, sales news should have gone out um, with the 4K license uh, information in terms of pricing and availability, but it is available now. Great. Uh, question from Bob. Is there a comparison chart that we can send out by email? I believe we have that. I'd have to check with uh, with marketing on that, but I believe so. Okay. Uh, Bob, we'll get back to you with either a chart or we'll, we'll uh, send you a link. Um, question from Corey. 4K was mentioned a bit. Is that true 4K or ultra high definition resolution? Um, I'll take that one too. It is not 4096, so it's not true 4K. It is UHD. Thank you, Drew. Um, another question. Are the new are all the new X series cameras ceiling mountable? Yes. Uh, another question here is NDI HX available on the BRC X one thousand slash one or the BRC H eight hundred slash one? Well, I'll answer that one. Um, that that answer is no. Those two cameras are not IP streaming cameras, so. As a result, uh, we were not able we're, we're not able to implement NDIHX even with a license. Okay, uh, one more question: Are there audio inputs in the new X series models? I'll take that one too, if you want. Um, the answer is yes. They're actually stereo audio inputs. Um, they take a, uh, uh, when Tony showed the two slides with the back of the camera, they were in that lower left corner. Um, those are 3.5 millimeter jacks. Um, in the camera's menus, you would set up your audio for either mic or line in. We do have the ability to lip sync and we output that audio on the HDMI and the uh, SDI outputs. Uh, for streaming, we actually AAC encode the audio. We put a timestamp on it 
and then we put that into the uh, H.264 or H.265 encoded video packet, which also has a timestamp. And then typical viewer programs like uh, VLC viewer, or if you were using um, something like uh, Wowza Streaming Cloud, their embedded viewer will take those timestamps and will do the lip sync um, in software. Okay, and looks like one last question. Um, this person has a system using RS-422 for serial control. How do I connect the new X-Series cameras RJ45 connected to my 9-pin Molex? Okay, so if you're using, um, like, like if you're, if you've, okay, so the answer to that is there, there is a pinout um, in the appendix of the um, operating instructions manual that is available on our website. Uh, if you go to the product page for which, whichever uh, X series camera you're using, um, at the in the appendix section we show that wiring from let's say an RMIP 10 or an RMIP 500 going from the nine pin connector to the RJ45. And then to Daisy Chain, if you saw on that pic, on those pictures, you saw the RJ45 in and out. You then just use standard Cat 5e cables or Cat 6 cables to Daisy Chain uh, between the out of the first camera to the in of the next camera in that Daisy Chain. Okay, um, uh, we've got another question here from Corey. Uh, when will the new units be available? And um, I don't know if we're if, if we're talking about MSRP on this call or not, but he's also asking for the the list pricing. Uh, well, to answer the first question, yeah, we we are shipping. Um, we announced the BRCX 400 at last year's NAB, and the SRGs were announced at Infocom in Orlando last June. Uh, we have been shipping those. I'm going to say since July or August. Um, I don't I don't remember the list prices off the top of my head, but you can talk to your account manager and they'd be happy to provide pricing. I've got a question from Wayne. Are the X series SRG cameras the same PTZ mechanical build as the current SRG models? Um well it's similar. They're actually they're it's it's a new design. Um they are all they are all based on the same optical block. Um, where we limit the SRG X120 to the 12X optical zoom. Um, it's the same mechanics. Um, its footprint is similar. Um, actually, the footprint's identical to the SRG uh, 360 SHE. But as far as the mechanics go, um, they're similar to, but they're not exactly the same. I, I, I actually think, in my mind, they're a little smoother to, to move those cameras, all three of them, compared to the older uh, SRG series. And the question from Martin, um, he's basically asking why, with, with all the new models, why do we still have the BRC-800 around? Um, what role does it fill in, in the lineup that others do not? So, okay, so if you, if you consider the lineup that the BRC-X1000, which is native 4K, and then the H800 is the identical optical block and imager, but it is HD only. Um, it fills, it, at the time we didn't have the BRC-X400. So that was our sort of entry level. Um, now with the BRC-X400, it's priced uh, a bit lower than the H800. The H800 is still in the lineup because there are people who want to get those, the effects of that large uh, format, well not large format sensor, but that one inch sensor where you can get that short focus, um, 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 things like that. Uh, we do offer 24P on the H800 and the X1000. With the uh, recent upgrade, you can have 24P on the HDMI connector only um, um, on the BRC-X400. Oh, uh, Martin came back and, and he says, his mistake, I was thinking of the 900. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the 900 has such a legacy. It's been so successful for us uh, for a lot of years. Um, it's still in the lineup, um, primarily because we still have customers that really believe in three-chip technology versus single-chip. And so uh, it's still there to kind of fill that void, specifically, um, being the only three-chip camera in the lineup. Um, 
and and so that's why it's there um hopefully it sticks around because uh you know it does fill that need if you will question from rye uh, can the tally be turned on and off on the br um i'm sorry on the x400 uh the brc x400 I, I believe so it's just like the other cameras you can you can set up well it'll depend on the controller but you could um, I do believe you can disable tally if that's what you're trying to do. Like you don't want the talent to know, like if this is for a reality TV show, you don't want uh, the players to know they're on a specific camera so they don't, you know, act it up, if you will. Um, I know that you can, through like the RMIP 500, you can set tally, uh, a number of different tally modes. One would be on-air tally where when the camera is selected through the switcher, if you've connected the switcher to the RMIP 500 using the GPIO cable, you know, on-air tally, um, like I said, when the when the um, technical director calls for a given camera shot, that camera's tally goes up when the when that camera goes to program out, when they, when they take that camera. Um, on the RMIP 500, we also have a tally lamps above the individual camera selection buttons. And so um, that lets the operator know, okay, camera three is now on air, but he can also go and change the shot on camera two. Or if the director's calling for an actual on-air move, he knows which button to push to then control that on-air camera. Thanks, Drew. And one last question, I think it's really a marketing question. Um, is there a feature chart that will help us to choose a camera? Yeah, I, I, again, I'd have to go back to marketing. I'm pretty sure we did it. It's, we kind of call it a cheat sheet. It shows um, the entire camera lineup with uh, features um, kind of side by side. Okay, great. So, so Corey, we've got a... Uh, We've got a log of all the questions and everyone who's asked, and uh, if uh, if if we can, we will send you out a chart after the uh, after the webinar. Um, it doesn't look like there are any more questions coming in, and we are almost at time. So again, I'd like to thank everyone for your time. I'd like to thank everyone for joining us uh, every Tuesday. I hope you're finding these helpful. And please, I ask, as I have in, in others, please reach out to your um, local Sony account manager, your local sales support engineer, and your, your um, reseller contacts, and let us know what you'd like to hear and see in future webinars, and we can, uh, we can create content for those. So with that, I wish you all uh, a pleasant day, and I wish everyone to uh, continue to stay safe and well. Thank you for joining us.